Hello and welcome to today's lesson 1.6, an introduction to functions. Uh, when thinking about functions, you may re recall uh, from your grade school days about the function machine. Uh, if a number gets put in, goes through the machine, and comes out as a different number. So you have inputs and outputs. The functions we're going to be looking at today are both graphical and uh, some table of values. And we're really going to be just uh, determining whether or not a given uh, relation is a function or not a function. So our answers are basically going to be function, not a function, and then given a reason why. So today's objective is really to determine whether or not a given relation is a function. So to start with, we need to de uh, define, well, what is a function? Uh, I'm going to give you a, a minute or two to write this definition down. So a function uh, is... Uh, an input-output relationship uh, its a dependent relationship between two sets of numbers in which a value in the first set determines one and only one element in the second set. So that's really important that it only determines one and only one element in the second set. Uh, translation, please. Yeah, so what does this exactly mean? It means for every input, there's exactly one output. That is, some, that is a statement right there that you just need to memorize and just live. For every input, there's exactly one output. For every x, there's only one y that it goes to. Uh, this is very similar to our distance versus time graphs in that for every time, there can only be one location we're going to, only one distance that we can be at. We cannot be at more than one distance for every time. So let's take a look here. So when we're looking at graphical displays, we use what is called the vertical line test. And the vertical line test is if any drawn vertical line, so vertical, remember, is up and down, just like this, uh, crosses a graph only once, it is a function. If it crosses it more than once, it's not a function. Because that would tell us that for that x value, uh, that input, there are more than one output. So, and this is really any of these, so I need to be able to put in many vertical lines because it doesn't help us just to have one, it only takes one point for it not to be a function. So if I'm looking at this first graph, <coughs> excuse me, I can draw all these vertical lines. Is there anywhere on this graph, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Is there anywhere on this graph where it crosses more than one time. A vertical line would touch this graph more than one spot. No, the answer is no. So is this a function? Yes, it is a function. Looking at this graph, I can put a vertical line right here and it touches this graph in two different spots. Right away, I'm saying this is not a function. Well, you might be saying, wait a second here. What if I put it right here on the edge? It only touches it one time. And you're right, it does. It only touches it one time at that tangent line right there but we're looking for only one spot does it take for it to, to not be a function. So this is not a function. Which of the following graphs are functions? And we're going to use the vertical line test to determine this. If you could please pause the recording at this time and determine which of these are a function and not a function, would greatly appreciate it. We'll check in with you momentarily. All right, let's take a look here. So I'm going to use my vertical line, and it, once again, it only takes one point for it not to be a function. So function, not a function. Looks like I can draw a line there, and that would be not a function. Is there any vertical line I can draw on this graph that's going to touch it more than one time? Anywhere I put that line, it's going to touch that graph more than once. So this would be a function. Looking at this graph here, is there any vertical line that I can draw that'll t make it uh, so it's not a function? Looks like function, function, and then right here. I have many points right here. Uh, this input of, it looks like negative one, two, three, four, negative four, where it has multiple outputs, so this would be not a function. Uh, this backward S here, or the number, or the, the S here, uh, looking at this graph, clearly not a function, even though I can put a vertical line right here and it only touches the graph once. I could put it over here and it only touches it once, but it, once again, it only takes one input. 
uh, or one X value where it touches the graph more than one time. Uh, looking down here, uh, this one would not be a function. I'm sorry, I grabbed the wrong one there. This one is a function. Any vertical line I draw there uh, would only touch that graph one time. I can say that's not a function. And these two are both going to be a function. Okay, looking at a table of values. So if I'm given a table of values now, just another way to represent a uh, in input output or a function <clears throat> I need to ask myself does every x value map or go to only one y value so if x values repeat then not a function well that maybe is the true but uh, that's one thing to look at is is do we have x values that repeat and do they go to multiple y values because I might have x values that repeat that go to the same y value and you know it can get a little tricky sometimes so I really just need to look and, and say to myself you know when I'm looking here does 8 only go to one pot yes does 9 only go to one number yes does 10 only go to one number well uh, wait a second here 10 goes to both 9 and 10 so this input has more than one output making it not a function because why the input 10 has more than one output. When I look here, the input 1 has one output. The input 2, 1. The input 3 only has one output. Now they all have the same output, but for every input there's exactly one output. Function. If I was to make a quick sketch of this graph, which I could do, and you could make a sketch of any of these graphs, uh, if I was to think about this graph, and here would be a quick little coordinate plane I could draw just to make my graph here. Uh, the value 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0. So it looks like my line is just the x-axis. Does that pass the vertical line test? You bet it does. <coughs> Excuse me. Looking at this next one, does the input 0 only have one output? Yes. Only one output. Just 5. Oh, here's 3 again. So I have the input 3 twice. This one went to 2. This one maps to 4. So 3 goes to more than one spot. So that would be not a function. And looking here, does every input have exactly one output? And the answer is yes. So that is a function. Okay. We'll have some for you to practice here on the next slide. If you could take a look at these and determine whether it is a function or not a function, please pause and we'll come back and check with you momentarily. All right, hopefully you've had enough time. So really, once again, we're just looking, does every input have exactly one output? Here, in the first one, yes. So that is a function. I have the input 3 goes to two different outputs, not a function. Does every input have exactly one output? Yes, they're the same output, but that doesn't matter. Does every input have exactly one output? No, I have the input of 2 right there and right there, and they go to two different spots. Excuse me, let's take a look here at this next one. Input or not a function or not a function. I have 7, 9, 10 goes to both 10 and 8, so not a function. 8 goes to 8, 9 goes to 9, 10 goes to 9, and 10 also goes to 10, so that is also not a function because the input 10 has more than one output. Uh, looks like every input has exactly one output. Does every input have exactly one? No, the output or the input of three has more than one output, so not a function. And let's see here. Every input has exactly one output, so that is a function. That's it for today's lesson and determining our introduction to functions. If you could please complete the homework assignment and continue watching the remaining videos, uh, links to the videos for this lesson and make sure that you complete your homework assignment prior to the quiz for this lesson. 
be greatly appreciated. Contact your teacher if you have any further questions. Thank you.